At The Hague in the Netherlands Friday, the UN's top court rejected South Africa's calls to end Israel's military operations in the Gaza Strip. The nearly unanimous rejection by the panel of 17 is a blow to advocates hoping for an end to Israel's efforts to eliminate Hamas in Gaza, which doesn't look to be ending anytime soon. However, South Africa did have one ruling in their favor. The court ordered Israel to take all measures to prevent further civilian deaths in order to ensure against future claims of genocide. The court ordered Israel to take legal action against anyone who commits genocide, publicly incites genocide, or is complicit in genocide, specifically against Palestinians. The panel also demanded Israel take additional steps to make sure humanitarian aid is flowing into Gaza. Israel says it is already ensuring aid to the Strip and that these demands are likely to change little about their efforts. Israel is enabling, it's working with the, with the international organizations to enable you know, humanitarian relief to the Gaza Strip. So again, on the practical level, uh, these measures will not necessarily change the conduct of Israel. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu responded to the ruling Friday in a recorded address. The charge of genocide leveled against Israel is not only false, it's outrageous, and decent people everywhere should reject it. Our war is against Hamas terrorists, not against Palestinian civilians. We will continue to facilitate humanitarian assistance and to do our utmost to keep civilians out of harm's way, even as Hamas uses civilians as human shields. The court said as part of the deliberations, it considered evidence from the UN Secretary General, who warned the Security Council in December, nowhere is safe in Gaza amid constant bombarding by Israeli defense forces. Other factors were alleged comments by the Defense Minister of Israel, who's accused of telling troops on the border they were fighting animals who were the ISIS of Gaza. This ruling is just the first step in South Africa's genocide case against Israel. It's believed a decision by the UN may take years. As the court rejected a call to end fighting, a grim milestone emerged. The death toll of Palestinians now surpassing 26,000, according to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry.